Hello, today we're looking at mental and written methods for finding percentages of an amount. So what I mean by that is that we're going to be able to do things like to find 15% of 82 but without using a calculator. Uh, I'm going to be using these to help to explain how we do that. So percentage is one of those things that we do in maths that actually they come up in real life all the time. So it's a concept that's well worth practicing and mastering. In this video, we're going to look at some nice simple methods to calculate percentages. And then I'm going to do a second part as well, where we'll look at some more advanced methods. So what are percentages all about? Well, percent means out of 100. So if you're finding 1% of something, it just means you're splitting something up into 100 equal parts. If I take these 200 sweets and I divide them up into 100 equal piles, then each of those piles will represent 1% of the total amount, in other words 1% of 200. So let's do that now. can see that there are two sweets in each group so 1% of 200 is 2 and if you wanted to find 3% of 200 you just put three of those groups together that makes six sweets so 3% of 200 is 6 if you wanted to find say 17% of 200 you just need to put 17 of those groups together count up how many sweets you've got so 17% of 200 is 34 but you're not always going to have hundreds of skittles with you. So let me quickly show you how you do it without. Let's say I want to find 6% of 700. I start by finding 1% of 700. So I do that by dividing by 100. That gives me 7. And then to find 6%, I just multiply that by 6. So I do 7 times 6, which is 42. So 6% of 700 is 42. Now that's a perfectly good method. You could pretty much find any percentage of any amount using that method, splitting it up into 100 and then add as many groups together as you need. But it's not always the easiest or the fastest method. So we're gonna look at some different techniques that will be a little bit easier and a little bit faster for lots of situations. Now I've got 100 sweets here. So each sweet represents 1%. If I split those into two groups, I got 50 sweets in each group. In other words, I've got 50% in each group, okay? So to find 50% of something, you just divide it by two, or you halve it, all right? So 50% of 48, just divide that by two, so 24. 50% of 63 is 31 and a half, just divided it into two. Now moving on from that, if I then split each of those groups up into two, I've got four groups overall. In other words, I've split my 100 suites up into four groups and I'll have 25 sweets in each group. So if you divide something by four, you found 25% of it. And an easy way to do that is to halve and then halve again. Okay, so to find 25% of something, you halve it and then you halve it again. For example, 25% of 96, I could halve it to find 48, and then halve it again, that would be 24. 25% of um, 180 and halve it, which would give me 90, and then halve it again, which would give me 45. So 25% of 180 would be 45. Okay, so that's how you find 25% of something. Back to our 100 sweets then. If I split the 100 sweets up into 10 groups, I've got 10 sweets in each group. So if you divide something by 10, you end up with 10% in each group, okay? So to find 10% of something, you divide by 10. So 10% 10 of 90 would be nine. 10% 10 of 150 would be 15. 10% of five would be 0 0.5, okay? So you just divide by 10. Following on from that, there are other percentages we can work out from that. So if you've divided something by 10 to find 10%, if you split each of those groups up into two, you've got 5%, okay? So to find 5%, you divide by 10 and then halve it, okay? So 5% of uh, 92, okay? So 
okay, I find 10%, which is 9.2, and then half of that, which is 4.6. So 5% of 92 is 4.6. 5% of 80, I divide by 10 to give me 10%, so that's 8, and then divide by 2, and that will give me 5%, which is 4. Okay, so 5% of 80 is 4. All right, so let's recap. We know how to find 1% of something. We know how to find 50% of something, 25%, 10%, and 5%. We can now combine those to be able to find any percentage of anything really. So let's say we wanted to find 15% of 180. All I'm going to do is I'm going to find 10% and then 5% and add them together because 10% and 5% is 15%. So 10% of 180 is 18, and then 5% is half of that, which is 9. Okay, so 10% is 18, 5% is 9, and if I add those together, which is 27, I've got 15%. So 15% of 180 is 27. Let's say we want to find 15% of 140. Pause the video, have a go on your own. So I find 10%, which is 14, and then 5%, which is 7, just add those together. So 14 add 7 is 21. So 15% of 140 is 21. So those, I chose nice easy numbers there, but the principle is the same, even if the numbers aren't quite as nice. So let's say I want to find 15% of 128. I would still just find 10%, which would be 12.8, and then 5%, which would be 6.4, and I'm going to add those two together, um, which would give me... 19.2. If you want to find 27% of something, let's say we're doing 27% of 180, then you can find 25% and then add on 1% then add on another 1% because 25% add 1% add 1% is 27% and we know how to find those. We know how to find 25%, we know how to find 1%. Okay, so 25% of 180, you remember we halve it and then halve it again. So half of 180 is 90, half that you've got 45. So 25% is 45, I'm just gonna make a mental note of that. 1% you'll remember, we divide by 100 to find 1% of something. So 1% 1 of 180 is 1.8. But I actually want two of those, so I want 1.8 and 1.8, and that's 3.6. So we've got the 25%, which is 45, and we've got the 2%, which is 3.6, we add those together, we've got 48.6, okay? So 27% of 180 is 48.6. Okay, okay, okay. What about 38% of 127? 38% of 127. Yeah. Okay, all right, so those numbers are a bit more awkward, but we can do the exact same thing. So what, did, what was it, 20, 38? 38% of 127. Okay, so 38%, I can make, actually there's lots of different ways that I could make 38%, but I'm gonna go with, I could find 25%, and then if I added on 10%, I'm up to 35, and then you can add on three ones. Okay, so you could make 38 by doing 25, add 10, add one, add one, add, add one, okay? Um, and because those are all percentages that we know how to calculate easily. All right, so 20, I've already forgotten what the number was. What was it? Write it down. Thank you. So 38%. 38% 30, of 127. Of 127. So this is definitely gonna be one of those ones where I'm gonna to have to actually write stuff down as opposed to making a mental note, okay? So 25% of 127, well if I halve it, that gives me 63 and a half, 63.5, and then Half of that is 31.75. So 25% of 127 is 31.75. To find 10%, I divide it by 10, right? You remember that one? To find 10%, you divide it by 10. So 10% 10 of 127 is 12.7. Make a note of that, 12.7. Um, so I've got 25% I've got 10%, now I need by 3, 1%, okay? So 1% you divide by 100. So that will be 1.27. So I'm gonna write that down. So 1.27, add 1.27, add 1.27. 
So you've chosen some nice awkward numbers for us, which it, it, it will take a little bit of time to do these sorts of questions, um, but you can still do them and you can still do them without a calculator. All you've got to do is add up that list of numbers, which if you've written it down and you've taken a bit of care to make sure your columns are all lined up carefully, it's not that big a deal. It, yeah. it takes a little bit of time. So if I add these up. So 21, 26, carry the two over. Um, then I've got 14, add that six to 20, add on the two, so I've got 22. Carry my two over, so I've got one, three, six, add that to his eight, and then I've got those. So I make that 48.26, 48.26. Okay. Um, I would say if you can do that, you can pretty much do any of them. We haven't got into decimals today, how you'd find, for example, 38.1% of something. And we haven't looked at perhaps some slightly more efficient, more advanced ways of doing the same sorts of things. But we'll get onto that in the second part of the video. Um, I would just keep practicing that. Um, I'll leave a few questions and then I'll you know, pause the video and I'll put the answers up a few seconds later. Okay, here are three questions for you to have a go at. Pause the video and I'll give a very brief explanation with some answers in just a moment. So question one, which is to find 18% of 300. The way I did it was I found 10% and then 5% and then 1%, 1%, 1%. That lot adds up to 18%, okay? So we've got 30 add 15, add three, add three, add three, which gives us 54. Question two, which was to find 36% of 420. The way I did it was I found 25% and then 10% and then 1% and added the lot up together. So we've got 105, add 42, had 4.2, which gives us 151.2. And the last question, which was to find 62% of 840, I found 50% and then 10%, and then 1%, 1%, and added that all together. So we've got 420, add 84, add 8.4, add 8.4, that gives us 520.8. That's percentages. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful. If you did, I put up two videos every week, uh, always trying to make maths a bit easier and a bit more enjoyable. So come back and keep watching the videos. And if you've got any questions about anything, but in particular what we did today, just let me know below and I'll do my best to answer it. I'll see you in the next video.